what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the sad truth behind triple h retirement x wwe star rips triple h next uh hulk hogan and other wrestling news not sure what's going on uh who the wrestler or x wwe star is going at the triple h but we'll find out man appreciate all the love and support on the channel road to 80k and uh let's check out what wrestlemania uh has to bring to us today now guys it is wrestlemania here back with another video what the road to wrestlemania almost finished at the at&t stadium is within sight will smackdown coast its way to the showcase of the immortals or will it put pedal to the metal well join us now as we look at this week's edition of the blue brand as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including the sad truth behind triple h's retirement and how there were plans for him how the wrestling world has reacted the next wwe superstar takes a cheap shot at triple h Hogan claims he's found the new next Hulk Hogan and much more. Mm, Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling <coughs> videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Now, as always, we won't recap the matches, but just look at the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. As always, we start off with the good as number one, Brock smashes SmackDown. Yeah. A Brock Lesnar showed why he's a human tornado, that was cutting a, a path of destruction on SmackDown, Smackdown as he attempted to bait Roman Reigns to attack him. Lesnar's destruction of the Tribal Chief's office, his vandalism of Reigns' SUV, and the grand finale of Lesnar fighting his way through security and sending the bloodline running away was a good, if not great, way to continue the build-up for the WrestleMania match. Number 2. Good Wrestling I say what you will about last night's unimaginative booking and haphazard hype for WrestleMania, but the blue brand rocked it in terms of delivering some solid matches. Matches like Shinsuke vs Jimmy Uso, Ricochet vs Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza, and the fatal four-way between Sasha Banks, Shayna Baszler, Rhea Ripley and Queen Zelina provided lots of action, high spots and flat-out entertainment. Number 3. Paul Heyman is awesome a Paul Heyman continues to excel as the wise man to Roman Reigns, a sniveling coward who provides a brilliant blend of personality that enhances mm -hmm. Roman's character but doesn't steal the spotlight. Roman has come a long way from when he needed Paul Heyman to help him on promos, but Heyman has become such a big part of the bloodline that it's hard to think of him not being around. He's the man fans love to hate and who provides comic relief as needed. But that was the good. What about the bad is number one, unimaginative booking. I will say this about Paul Heyman's alignment with Roman Reigns. It worked. It he he's the 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 sniveling sidekick that everyone loves to hate, but he actually has like some funny moments that enhances the overall bloodline storyline that they have going on right now. And Paul Heyman, he's just a gem. He's just a gem. You give him a microphone, you're gonna pay attention to him. Whether you love him or hate him, you're gonna pay attention to him. Last night, SmackDown showed a complete lack of imagination when it came to the show's booking. Nearly every singles match was used to build the various tag team matches at WrestleMania, and while the matches were good, the creative team put zero effort in last night's show. Sounds about Number right. Number two, Ronda's wretched oh, promos. Man. Ronda Rousey continues to provide entertaining promos, but she has no business cutting them. Okay, let's be fair, not everyone has the gift of the gab. Although some wrestlers can improve given the right time of training, but the WWE should know better than to expose someone's weakness, especially when they're a main eventer. The WWE should really keep Ronda's promos really short, or better yet, just give her a recorded backstage promo until she really improves. Number th yeah, her promos is eh, they they're not really that good. This this proves what some people tend to overlook. You can be great in combat sports you can be one of the best to ever do it in octagon mma ring wherever and you know they hype up the the matches you know you know when they're having their the little press conferences and stuff but it's different it is very different when you're trying to set a promo in front of a live audience it's different you know not anybody can just do that just flawlessly it takes time it takes skill to deliver a promo to sell a match you would think oh well she's done it before but they're not giving promos on those press conferences those are just them talking talking they shit it's not giving a promo it's not setting up a story it's literally just them talking trash and they can kind of get away with whatever they damn near want to say for the most part. But building a promo, saying a promo, you it takes time, man. And Ronda, 
Mm-mm. She's not good when it comes to promos. It comes off just very boring. It, it's It comes off as herself. Like, just very straight to the point. Not much to really say. Kind of dry. She has to, like, really create a character. Um, and she, so far, has not been able to successfully do it promo-wise. She's believable, for sure. But at the same time, it, it just comes off bland and dry. What do you guys think about it? The three lackluster WrestleMania hype. Mm -hmm. The blue brand provided a bare bones build up for WrestleMania, and while the build up wasn't exactly awful, it was surprisingly dull compared to this week's Raw. Yeah, Raw actually did something better than SmackDown. Last night was actually SmackDown's go home show, as the blue brand will feature two matchups leading into WrestleMania weekend. So, why the lack of hype? Also, oh, SmackDown, that was their go home show? Wow, didn't even know that. While well, some pundits have argued that SmackDown has done it all it can do to hype its Mania matches, and it seems like this is the case with Brock Lesnar vs. Roman, as they've exhausted the usual build-ups such as contract signings, sneak yeah. attacks, etc. Still, the WWE seems complacent in promoting Mania. Number 4, Ricochet booked for SmackDown and not Mania. Wow. That looks like the WWE's booking of Ricochet says all you need to know about his push as IC champion. While fans were thrilled to see him capture another singles title, not featuring a champion on WrestleMania, even the pre-show, is kind of an insult to Ricochet what? and the IC strap. The triple threat match should be exciting, so why not book it on WrestleMania? It's understandable why the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal is booked on SmackDown, as it is an exciting way to lead into Mania, and its absence from the showcase is understandable. Although we do think it could have easily been booked on the pre-show. Now there's nothing- I'm confused. How in the hell do you not have the Intercontinental Championship defended on Wrestle WrestleMania? All titles should be defended. It's simple as that. Every single WWE main roster title should be on the line. It's WrestleMania. Oh my God, that doesn't even make sense to me. He is the Intercontinental Champion, and he's not defending the title at WrestleMania. He does. Uh, I guess, bro. I don't know, man. This is. I don't know. It's a two-night show. You telling me you couldn't get Ricochet in one of those? All right. No comment, bro. Just whatever, bro. Whatever. Think downright ugly, as last night's show featured several excellent matches, but an anemic build-up for the WWE's biggest show of the year. <clears throat> Was the creative team too busy booking Mania? If so, let's hope the efforts pay off, as last night's SmackDown was a sorry excuse for a go-home show. But what did you guys think of the blue brand last night? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, let's move on, on to man. the news. That just makes no sense. What about the whole Ricochet stuff? Now, our first story looks at the sad truth behind <coughs> Triple H's retirement. Atop in the news today is Triple H's announcement that he has officially retired from wrestling. <coughs> Despite WrestleMania 38 just a week away, all the wrestling world seems to be talking about is the game's shocking statement. Hunter, who suffered a life-threatening cardiac incident last September, spoke with ESPN about what happened and why he's done. I will never wrestle again. First of all, I have a defibrillator in my chest, which, you know, probably not a good idea for me to get zapped on on live television. Yeah, that would be horrifying. Mm -hmm. The 52-year-old WWE Hall of Famer revealed the circumstances <coughs> leading to his brush with death last year, telling ESPN's first take that a bout with viral pneumonia led to a doctor's visit where an examination <coughs> disclosed Helmsley had fluid in both his lungs and Damn. around his heart. Doctors told him the situation was grim. I was nosediving and sort of at the one yard line of where well, you don't want to be really for your family and your future. There's moments in there when they're putting you out for stuff and you think, is this it? Do you wake up from this? Damn. That's tough to swallow and makes you think differently. And while Triple H had not officially retired, his wrestling appearances did become increasingly rare as he focused on watching over NXT. While Triple H didn't rule out a return to the ring, such as when he battled Randy Orton on Raw in January of 2021 after McIntyre tested positive for COVID, he seemed content not wrestling. Ironically, Vince McMahon had actually discussed the Cerebral Assassin's return to action at WrestleMania 38. Mm. Triple H elaborated, 
I was already at a place in my career as far as in-ring goes where I was comfortable being done and finished. If the right thing came along, I hadn't really said much, but if the right thing came along and they wanted me to do it, I had a conversation with Vince McMahon about doing something at WrestleMania this year in Dallas. We talked and there were plans for, but obviously when this happened, it shut all that down. As far as the schedule, WWE is an intense place. It's 24-7 and you're running, running, running. It put things in perspective for me. Now, the 14-time world champion has done yeah. everything possible in the <clears throat> WWE and seemed content with how his career transpired. Now, we wish Triple H all the best as he embarks on a new chapter in his life. And it's pretty cool that he first debuted on March 24th, 1992 with his official in-ring debut, only to retire almost 30 years and one day later on the Damn, 25th of March, man. 2022. That's, that's crazy when you think about it, man. Uh, I made a video talking about it. Triple H is one of the best to ever do it. Um, it just sucks, you know, how, you know, things played out and why he has to retire. But at the end of the day, he's done it all in the business. You know, he's main event in WrestleMania. He's been in high profile feuds, main event in several, uh, main, uh, you know, pay-per-views. Like, he's he's done it all, man. There's not much else he needed to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on camera and behind the scenes, you know, uh, he's one of the best to ever do it. One of the one of the better heels WWE has ever produced, and it, you know it's just crazy or whatnot to you know just see someone that you grew up watching finally say, "Hey, they're hanging it up," you know. So yeah, man. We appreciate you, Triple H. You feel me? And, uh, you know, we, we do wish you well in whatever you do in the future, man. Enjoy your life. You deserve it. <laughs> enjoy your life. Enjoy your life with your family, with your kids. Enjoy it. While you're still here, that's all you can do, man. Damn, what a career, though. <clears throat> Next up, the wrestling well reacts to Triple H's announcement. Now, the wrestling community is sending out a number of touching tributes and messages of thanks mm -hmm. to Triple as, H following the news of his retirement. The Miz mentioned, Triple H, it was an honor to have shared the ring with you. Thank you for the wealth and knowledge you have given me over the years. Enjoy the extra time you will now have with your girls. Mm -hmm. Hashtag thank you Triple H. Adam Shear aka Braun Strowman just mentioned, thank you. Alberto Del Rio even released a mm. statement via Lucha Libre Online thanking Triple H for all he's given to the industry and a blazing a path. Here's a quick excerpt. You've been involved in the wrestling industry 100% to pass that torch and make sure the whole business can keep running for many years to come. Triple H, I'm really happy to know that you're safe at home with your family and loved ones. I only want to take a minute to say God bless you. Hope mm -hmm. that we can cross pathways again. Now, as fans know, Triple H guided many wrestlers' careers in NXT, this many of them jumped on the main <laughs> roster. Alexa Bliss tweeted a touching tribute including revealing who came up with the idea for Alexa's playground. The man who came up with the concept of Alexa's playground, so talented in and out of the ring, thank you for everything Triple H, what an incredible in-ring career. Dana Buck tweeted, you started my journey, you believed in me, thank you. Other messages from fans and wrestlers just show how many people Triple H has entertained, mentored and helped people, during man. his career, a true testament to his life and legacy. Yep. Thankfully Triple H is still with us and you can be certain he has more to offer. But still, there's some real crabs in the group, of course, of course. with one ex WWE star taking a cheap shot at him. Now, in a move that can only be called a dick oh. move, a wrestler Ryback, oh. better known as Cryback for his constant complaints oh. about his time in WWE, oh took a real cheap shot after Triple H announced his retirement, tweeting, You ended up being the biggest disappointment for me personally from loving you growing up, but I wish you well in retirement and future good health. Now, we've all heard of the backhanded compliments and Cryback seems to have taken venom-filled well wishes to the next level. Consider this subsequent tweet. I truly wish him well. He went out of his way to prevent multiple opportunities for me, lied, and is part of a company I have a legal battle with and I've won everything. I put out a heartfelt message and speak from my experience, but wish him the best. Negative marks are horrible. Seriously, this guy just needs to piss off at this point. There's nothing more to say. This guy's still putting hashtag Ryback in his own tweets. Buzz off. And finally... Yeah, Ryback, you're a fucking clown, bro. They may have mistreated you or whatnot, and, and understandable to be frustrated, but come on, bro. You're a fucking clown. Legitimately, Ryback's a, a goddamn clown. Now I see why people were, like, saying what they were saying. I, I think he recently... 
posted a tweet saying if he was to come back to wrestling or whatever, which company should he come back to? It was uh, WWE. It was a poll. It was WWE, AEW, Impact. And then at the bottom, it said just retire. And it was overwhelming percentage of people saying just retire. Just stay retired, bro. Or just retire from wrestling, bro. You're a clown, dude. That's a backhanded comment. You might as well have not said anything. That you put, like, that's a backhanded comment. You don't have to like the guy. If you don't like him, that's fine. Just don't say nothing. Like, people who do that give backhanded, compl- you know, like, comments and compliments or whatever to feed their own ego, bro. You're, he's a clown. You're a clown, Ryback. You weren't going to be, you no. You were a copy-paste Batista, a great value Batista at best. You're a clown. You're a clown. Hulk Hogan reveals He's the next clown, Hulk bro. Hogan. And last but not least, the Hulkamania phenomenon <clears throat> led to a many a promoter finding the next Hulk Hogan, a task that proved easier said than done as various yeah, wrestlers proved you need more than just a good physique to reach the stars. Even the Hulkster himself has commented on the flavor of the month wrestlers who promoters thought Excuse might me. be the next Hogan, but now the two-time Hall of Famer thinks he may have found the next Hulk Hogan. Hogan posted on Instagram, the old school respect with the new school, hashtag Jinder Mahal physicality. He's a bad man, brother. With the right push, he could be the new generation Hulk Hogan. He's got it all, brother. Hogan's Instagram post showed the 35-year-old Mahal standing next to the Hulkster at Hogan's beat shop. While Mahal has plenty to offer in the ring, his frequent injuries make it risky to push him and put a title on him. But there you have it, folks. No. We saw what happened when he was the WWE champion on SmackDown. It was no. Jinder Mahal is cool, but he was no, no. We're not even, no. Hey, man, that the last half of this video definitely, uh, definitely was interesting. Um, I just want to say once again, thank you, Triple H, for everything you've done for the industry. We do appreciate what you brought to wrestling, and uh, hopefully you continue to, you know, enjoy the rest of your life with your family, as you should, man. Take time to be with your loved ones while you can. Um, but comment down below, how much of a clown is Ryback? Just, just, I just want to know. How, am I the only one that feels like he's just a goddamn clown? Just put in the comments, how much of a clown is Ryback to you? Because I think he is a max level clown. Like, his clown experience is at a 100% right now. He just, just put Ryback and then a clown emoji in the comment section down below because that dude's jesus christ man i don't really say too much about ryback but throwing cheap shots after someone's retiring but you, you're a clown bro you're a loser i'm sorry you're you're a loser bro no one's gonna take you seriously like i'm good on him put ryback clown in the comment section man that's all i want to see but appreciate all love and support road to 80k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace